Uh, first world problems. That's our uh, theme for today. First world problems. Uh, the things that torment someone of, of privilege uh, are completely ridiculous. Dude, you can't figure out this watch. Uh, you're utilizing a uh, end mill uh, bracelet. You kind of miss it on the original black strap. You feel that it brings out the essence of the Seiko SRP655. I get it. Honestly, watches are not big on my mind today. Uh, not big at all. Today is a lot of things have converged. Number one, let me tell you that in about a half hour, I got to shut everything off from the house. I got to unplug things from uh, the surge protectors because our, our friendly electric company will be pulling out with these giant monster like Megalodon cranes. Did you just say the word Megalodon? Is that another reference to a watch? Can you please? Just focus on something other than watches. Jeez. Okay, anyway, so these giant cranes are going to be in the yards all on my street pulling out telephone poles and putting in new ones. So uh, from 9 o'clock until 7 is what they say. <laughs> yeah, there will be no electricity. So I'll be shutting everything down. Yeah, I won't be looking at watches on the Internet. Uh First world problems, surviving for 10 hours without electricity in the suburbs. Honestly, I'll be happy if uh, the electricity comes back on at 7. Who knows what kind of glitch, what kind of uh, keystone cop bumbling uh, is going to go on. For all I know, we're not going to have electricity for two or three days. But, I, you know, I don't want to jinx it. Uh, let's hope. You know, and that's stressful. I didn't sleep well last night because I was uh, thinking of... of you know, my routine is going to be completely uh, thrown off course. And I am a man of routine. You may have noticed that. You may not have. I don't care. But, you know, to exacerbate that situation, uh, four years ago, we bought a refrigerator with an ice maker. Worst thing I ever did. It's called a Kenmore from Sears. It's really not Kenmore anymore. Kenmore used to be a, a brand of quality, but now they just stick the Kenmore... Uh, brand on the fridge. It's really made by LG, and LG is known to have a lot of problems, especially with the ice maker. So, you know, the control panel's been acting up. Called uh, tech support yesterday, and they didn't want to send anyone out here. Uh, they said, just uh, turn off your breaker switch for 10 minutes. And sure enough, you know, we did it, and, and uh, the control panel worked again. But then it shut off again. The control panel gets frozen. The only way you can unfreeze it is by turning off the breaker switch. On top of that, when the control panel goes out, the refrigerator temp goes way up to unsafe levels. You know, you can't put anything in there that's perishable or you're screwed. So uh, I called Sears this morning, and you, when you call on a weekday, you, you get a more friendly person. You don't get an overseas person who just wants to go through tech support with you. They, I could tell. And so... Uh, you know, this was unusual. They said, uh, I can't get you anyone for two weeks. I can't have, I got kids. I have children. I can't have children being exposed to unstable temperatures. So uh, anyways, I hate the refrigerator. I hate the dyspeptic ice making sounds. I hate the control panel. I hate the way the, f the side freezer door opens and you can't even open it because it's right next to the, uh, the wall. So uh, I'm going to take the girls without my wife's authority, without her authorization. She's teaching. It's her first class today. Uh, with electricity coming off, I'm going to take the girls. Before I take them to lunch, I'm taking them to Sears. And uh, I, I don't even want to go to Sears because I'm upset that there's a two-week wait. But the thing is, I have a warranty, a three-year warranty that I just purchased for this refrigerator. And, uh, you know, if I, if I go to a different uh, appliance store to buy a new fridge... That warranty, man, I'm, I'm eating that up. That's 300 bucks or thereabouts that I have to eat up. So what I'll do, uh, I'm going to buy a basic refrigerator with no water maker, no ice maker, no water, I, no water line. Thank God. And uh, it's going to have probably a top uh, freezer that I can just open up from... Uh, left to right so it doesn't hit a wall. I would like to buy one of those bottom pull-out freezers, but I don't know why. They're $300 more. I think uh, I want to get something like 20 cubic uh, square feet, which is about what we have now. Uh, anyways, hate the refrigerator. I've been talking about getting rid of it for two years. I think this is my window to do it. 
Uh, geez, dude, you could you could buy a Seiko MM300. Are you talking about watches again? No, this isn't about watches. So uh, today, uh, you know, first world problems. Oh, he has to go out and buy a refrigerator for eight hundred to eleven hundred dollars. Poor McMahon. Let's cry for him right now. Let's pity him and his struggles. Now I hear you, man. It's all I'm, I'm looking at this in proportion. Believe me, I, I'm making fun of myself. My self-deprecation shows you how mentally healthy I am. Mm. So uh, I'm going to shut everything down pretty soon. I'm going to take my girls uh, out to run these errands that I just described. Uh, won't be on YouTube. Won't be looking at watches. Who knows? Maybe that, that the hiatus will inject a little mental health into my day. Until next time, I am out.